Quite a while ago, I picked up some flexible filament. Now, it's a cheap off-brand from China, and I tried to print it on my DaVinci, but could never get it to work. Let's see if it'll work on a Fabricator Mini. It's Filament Friday. The first thing I printed was a new knob from my X-Carve. This one worked fine, but it's really hard plastic, and it's got slippage, even though it's got these little nubs on it. So I decided to print this one, which is softer, just a little bit rubbery. It came out pretty good. I got some pitting on the top because it printed like this. And the bottom was really a mess because it's hard to get it off the bed. And so what I did is I just put it on my sander and it sanded pretty nice. So it came out pretty good and it's actually got a nicer grip than this hard plastic. And as far as fitting, it stretches right over the nut very nicely. So it worked really well. I think it works better than the hard plastic. So I like this. This is a great solution. So the next thing I printed was an iPhone case. I found one on Thingiverse, brought it to Tinkercad, split it into two pieces so it would fit on the Fabricator Mini, and then I started printing the first half. And this is what I got. This thing was terrible. It was pitting, it had strings, it, it was obviously a bad print. I didn't know if it was the print or if it was the plastic. So I figured I'd try something else. So I tried to peel this off and I couldn't get it off. This stuff sticks like you would not believe. So I ended up just pulling the whole build tack off and put a new one on the bed. And then I tried something else, let me show you. I've built several robots over the years and this is one of my favorites. And it's got these hard wheels with a rubber O-ring tire. I wanted something with a little more traction so this could go on rougher terrain. Well, I found a tire and wheel combination on Thingiverse. So I decided, let's print the tire and see how it comes out. This is it, this is the tire and it had problems. About three quarters of the way through the print, I pulled it off the bed. Well, I tried to pull it off the bed. This stuff just sticks. I had to just really gouge at it to get it off the bed. And then I saw that it was just all stringy and pitted. The bottom half printed pretty good. The top half was printing really bad. And look at that, it, I could just easily peel it apart. It was not fusing together. And I could see by looking at this and by the way it was flowing, the nozzle probably was blocked. So I took it apart and found out, yes, the nozzle was blocked inside the hot end. Now I filmed all that and I'll make that a separate video. I'm not gonna show you that here. And then once I did that, I went back and printed it again. Now, before I tried printing again, I did three things. One, I lowered the bed. I wanted to give it more room for that filament to come out. The way it was sticking to the bed, I didn't have to worry about squishing it down. Number two, 0.2 layer height was too fine, which is what I used here. So I changed it to a 0.4 layer height so it could just flow right out. And number three, I slowed it down. I sliced it with slicer at the same settings I was using for ABS, which was 30 millimeters per second. And that's been working on here. For this, I slowed it down to 10 millimeters per second because I could tell it was just trying to do too much too fast. So that's what I did. Let me show you how that turned out. The finished print came out pretty good. It's still got a line in the center and that may be part of the design. I don't know, I gotta go back and look at it. And I still got some holes in the top so it didn't fill in quite as nice. And there's definitely some stringing, but this is so much better than the previous print. So definitely cleaning the nozzle and then slowing things down with these different settings made it a lot better. And now I need to get it off the build plate. Hmm. No, it really wasn't that bad. Because I adjusted the bed height and had the filament just barely coming down, it stuck perfectly and I just used a plastic putty knife and this thing came right off. Now there's a bunch of strings to clean up, but it's pretty flexible. Not super flexible, it's pretty flexible. I think it's gonna be perfect for a tire. I just need to print the wheel that this will slip on and then size that to a motor or whatever, but this was a pretty good test. Now, there still was some pitting on the top, just like I got on the, the knob. So there's something about the way this prints or flows. It doesn't give you a, a real solid layer on top. But I guess that's something else to adjust. But overall, the Fabricator Mini did a great job printing flexible filament. I wish I could tell you the brand, but I don't know what it is. 
This was an off brand that I bought at Micro Center on sale. So I don't know, but I'm sure it represents a lot of flexible filaments that are out there. I'm gonna try and save the slicer settings and export those and then put it on my website on my Fabricator mini page. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you like what I'm doing here and you wanna see more. And if you wanna help support the channel to buy filament or other things like that, a dollar to my Patreon account up here at this link helps a lot. So that's all I've got. I'll see you next time.